Hey guys, Super Horror Bro Mike here, and in today's video, we are playing Claytown Horror. Now, this is a demo for a brand new horror game which looks really interesting to me because I'm a big fan of stop motion animation or claymation as it's also known. If you guys have ever watched stuff like Wallace and Gromit, um, you know, I, I like those kind of things. But this is kind of like a darker take on that. It's a nightmarish horror game where these kind of stop motion animation designs come to life, I think. Yeah, we're going to see what this game's all about, guys. Sit back, relax, and uh, yeah, we're going to dive in to Claytown today. Oh. Already we're getting a creepy vibe from this game with that little character looking at us. It says, your name is Ted Jason. You live in a small town and have recently become fascinated by something. By what? Why the abandoned house on the hill, of course. You've heard nobody's lived there in decades, and anybody brave enough to go inside would be a certified celebrity in town. You've never really heard of anyone who did go inside, but it must be because nobody's as courageous as you. You think you'll go there tonight, well, I get the sense that this is going to be a bad idea on our part to go to this house on the hill, but uh, here we go. We're playing as Ted Jason, going to a house where nobody goes. And here it is. We're straight into the game. Um, we've arrived in this banged up little truck. Kind of looks like something off SpongeBob SquarePants or something, doesn't it? Either way, let's go inside, I guess. Um, not that we should, probably. Okay, this isn't creepy at all, is it? <laughs> we've got... Little bows hung up there. Candles all over the place. Hmm. What's this? Little pictures. Let's see what's through here then. Oh, is that blood? Or is that just dirt? I don't know. Could be either, right? We've got a TV. Strange looking TV. This is all kind of made out of cardboard though. There's like buttons on the wall. The sofa is made out of like fabric. Well, obviously. But it kind of looks like something that would be in a doll's house, doesn't it? Like a patchwork sofa. We've got crayons here as well. And I can kind of hear like a whispering sound. What's that? E for the note. Gallery note key. How do we access that? It says, I'll just toss the key onto the chandelier. That way, it can't get out. I don't know what they're talking about here. They said, that way it can't get out. Which seems, you know, a little bit spooky. Because it's alluding to something trying to be kept in here. But there we go. Let's keep going. Let's keep exploring. Have we got a flashlight? I don't think we have like a flashlight or anything. Um, they said something about the chandelier though, the key being on the chandelier, so we obviously have to look for the key. There's a whispering here. Oh, another key. What's this? Toy room key. Okay, gotta find the toy room then. What's this? There's a lock. This is not the toy room, obviously. But obviously, uh, every door in this game is going to be locked with finding keys to find our way about. And so far, we haven't seen any monsters, which is good. Is that a key? No, that's a tea towel or something. I like all the art on the wall. It's very um, arts and craft. Looks like somebody's just kind of made this. You know, somebody's kids made this whole house or something at their uh, play school. We've got a toilet. Is there anything we need in the toilet? Oh, a whispering. What's this? Crumpled letter. Please, I need you to come help me. My very soul has been scarred, and every day I feel I'm closer and closer to madness. Nothing seems to help. The kids just drive me insane. I can barely look in the mirror, and no matter how much I scrub my skin, it still feels stained. Please, I need you here with me. You're the only one who seems to understand. The only one who doesn't judge me one way or another. Please come stay at the house for a few weeks and help me feel like me again. I'm so afraid to sleep alone another night and what I might do. Please, I need you. Monica. So that's Monica speaking to, I don't know if you speak to us or just somebody else in the story we haven't met yet. Wait, did that just move? Yeah, it looks like these are kind of moving, doesn't it, of their own accord. Strange. Looks like there's an upstairs, but I don't think we can access it yet. I just heard a noise. I don't like that. That's boarded up. We're going to have to head back, I think. I don't think there's anything else we can do here. We've got a door here. Can we access this? Oh, wait. There's someone through there. Look. Guys, look. There's somebody actually, like, painting. Like a character. I don't know if we want to go through that door, then. We need to find the toy room. We haven't been this way, I don't think. Can't get through there. 
Let's go upstairs. Let's see if we can find the chandelier. Said the key was on the chandelier, so... Can we interact with this? I think we need a crank or something. And there should be a key on there. Is this the toy room? Yes, we've accessed the toy room and it's just as creepy as I imagined. <laughs> we've got little marinettes hung up. We've got a giant teddy bear here with something on its... Well, it looks like a knife. Yeah, a knife slicing its stomach open. Lovely. Okay, can we defend ourselves with the knife? Can we use it? Oh, actually, if we've got the knife, we can probably cut down the chandelier, right? Yep. Sounds like... Oh, great, the light's gone out. Um, I can't see anything. This is actually pitch black. What the heck? I can barely make out where I'm meant to go. This is so dark. I think we have to go downstairs now. F for flashlight. Oh, nice, we've got the flashlight. But it's really dark. I don't think that really kind of helped much, but we've got a key as well. It just made the whole house dark. This is the gallery key. Now, is the gallery the door here, I wonder? Yes. <gasps> oh, but it isn't actually a guy drawing. It's like um, somebody strung up, made to look like they're drawing or painting. And that's super creepy. He's got like loads of nails in his face and paintbrushes in his head. So weird. And look at all these pieces of art. It's got like a snake there, a, a big eye. Man, I don't know if I want to be in this room for too long. It's important. We've got whispers. Oh, the key. Yes, that's what the whispers were from. The basement key. Wait, I think I know where the basement was as well. It's through here, right? I'm kind of getting the lay of the land now and figuring out where we need to go, I think. The basement should be through the kitchen, I think. Like, I imagine this is the basement door. Ooh, a note. Let's have a look. Basement warning. Yeah, this is the basement. I think I'm safe now. I don't know what that thing is, but I lured it into the gallery and locked the door. So that's the thing we just saw. But it was kind of like at peace, it seemed. Or asleep or something. I don't know. I just need to find a way out of here. Wait, where did that key go? She said we. she lured it into the... The gallery, we've just like left the gallery door unlocked. So kind of, a, I'm a little bit scared if I'm honest. The key broke. Oh great, well, that's not good. So the key is broken. We're gonna have to find another way into the basement, I think. Question is, is that creature gonna be like walking about now? I hope not. <gasps> He's gone. Wait. So we've gone back to the gallery, the thing is gone, and now there's a house here. Knock, knock. Wait, can we enter it? We knocked on it, that's so cool, and we've gone inside. And now we've got a lot of numbers. Oh, this is gonna be a puzzle, isn't it? Okay, thinking caps on. I can't seem to like move forward for some reason. All these pictures have changed as well now. They've all like fallen down and stuff. Oh, it's a safe. Yeah, we have to put the combination into the safe. I get it. So there's a gallery poem. Let's have a look at that. Oh, magnificent image, how the snakes ruin you. Oh, magnificent mind, how the ravens loathe you. Oh, magnificent justice, how the judge heeds you. Oh, magnificent love, how the heart hails you. Oh, magnificent light, how the reaper fears you. Oh, magnificent blight, how I woke up by your side. Okay, so this seems to be like maybe giving us a combination through the note. Snakes, ravens, judge, heart, reaper, and wake. Oh, because it's the placement. The placement of the pictures, yeah. Let me have another look at these numbers. So, yeah, so, the f oh my god, he's in here now. Well, that's creepy. He's like following us around. It's a guy with a button eyes. So that would be one is the first number of what we need. The next one would be ravens. So we need to find where the ravens are. Yeah, ravens is there. So what's 
let's have a look at what the raven would be. I hope he hasn't moved. Raven would be two. So, for, so far we have one, two as our numbers that we need. Let's look at the poem again. Next we need judge. So where's the judge? The heart is there. Yes, the heart is the fourth number. So let's put the heart in next. I don't know where the judge is. So the heart would be number five. Oh my god, he's got closer. What the heck? That's really freaky. I've just realized he's like really close to us now. Let me out. Man, I don't like going back in there now. That could be judge. Because there's scales and stuff. That could be the judge one. I'm going to have to go in one by one, guys, because I'm not going to remember it otherwise. I'm going to go back in and just hope he doesn't jump scare us or something. Oh, he's right there. Hello. Judge would be five, I think. Five or two. Let me out. Five or two. Let's have a look. Which one is it? Uh, two, I think. And then we need Reaper and Wake. So what is Reaper? The Grim Reaper, I'm guessing. It could be that one. That's a skull, though. Is there an actual picture of a Grim Reaper? Oh, that looks like a bed, actually. That'll be the last one, then. So, the bed and then the Reaper is, like, the middle picture on this wall. Second from the right. Okay. Here, we, here goes nothing. So, second... I hope he doesn't jump scare me. Oh, second from the right is zero. Seven is for the bed. And zero is for the Reaper. I think. Yeah, zero for the Reaper then. And seven for the bed for Wake. We should have done this now. I think we have got the, cut, the combination from the pictures. And hopefully I've edited that in a way that makes sense for you guys to follow. <laughs> so let's try and put this in. It should be one, two, two, uh, five, zero, seven. Let's try it. Yeah, it worked. Sweet. Okay, so what is what have we got? A key, I'm guessing. Sturdy basement key. Ah, oh, we can finally go to the basement now. The door won't budge. Wait, what? Why will it not budge? Oh my god, we've got to go back into the house. We've got to knock and go back into the house. Oh no, knock knock. He's all impaled. He's taken a head off someone. And there's like eyes everywhere. Oh my god, this is nuts. Oh, oh! There's literally like headless people in here. What do we do? What do we do, guys? What do we do? What do we do? What do we do? Where's my flashlight? Why is it not working? I see nothing. I can't see anything. I can't get my flashlight to work. There was just two headless people and now I can't see anything. Alright, I've got the flashlight back on. The headless people have gone. There's a giant smiley face on the door. Screw this. We're getting out, guys. We're going to the basement immediately. And... Oh, okay, he's there. Is he going to try and get me? I don't know. I don't know if he actually attacks. Please say he doesn't. Just let me through, boy. Okay, let's go. <laughs> let's go. Okay, we've unlocked it. Into the basement, into the basement, into the basement. It did say beware the basement, though. So, like, I feel like we should probably not come down here. But what can you do, eh? There's a note. Parental warning. I can also hear a moving noise in my ear, which is really creeping me out. But it says, I won't say this again, kids. Do not bother when I'm in my studio. You have something to say, talk to me when I'm not working. You're never not working, it says at the bottom. Okay. Workaholic. Can we go through this door? Nope, we need a key. Another key. This is like the key finding game. It's the only mechanic this game knows, is finding keys. Actually, it did have a puzzle, I guess. I can hear whispering. I like how it has the whispers. 
because we've got a den key now. The whispers do guide you to where you need to go because without that, it would be like really tough. I'm just waiting for the monster to jump to get us as well. Like we all know it's coming. Can I get through this door? No, maybe we have to go back upstairs. It did say the den key. I think the den is like another name for a living room. Like what we call living room in the UK. In America, I think they call it the den sometimes. I could be wrong though. Oh, that's it. It says, thanks so much for playing our demo. If you liked anything the demo has to offer, then we're sure you'll enjoy the full game, which will be roughly four to five hours long and will include more puzzles to solve, frights to be had and sights to be seen. Okay guys, one last thing before we end off today's video, there's actually a little cartoon, like a little stop motion animation cartoon that was included on the game's YouTube page and on the Steam Store page and it seems like it's going to give us a little bit more information about what we experienced during that playthrough. So let's watch this together, do a little reaction to it and end off the video today. Here we go. Well, there you are. I've been waiting for you. So this is like a kid's show then. So, why don't you come with me? To Claytown! Yeah, Claytown was a kid's show. Okay. Alright, you got the camera going? That's like found footage, yeah, but with stop motion animation. I got it. Hey, you lost the bet fair and square. You really gonna make me spend an hour in there? Hell yeah. Next time, don't lose. Well, what if I go in and bring you back something cool? Would you let me leave? Oh, shut up. You're not getting out of this. I'm serious, man. You don't think there's some awesome stuff in there? You could show it off to Wait, the other guys Wait, that's the main character, isn't it, it as well? I won't tell them it was me. The one that was, like, following us around. Nah. Come on, man. I really don't want to be locked in there. Ugh, fine. I'll let you wuss out. So I guess he goes in. Good. Ooh, and he like gets trapped. Something. There's gotta be some somewhere. Thank you. I'll be right back. Just please don't leave without me. Yeah, whatever, man. Now we're back. Even know I took it. In the Why cartoon. Do care? Because stealing is wrong, Gavin. And I'll make her very sad. But it's so cool. And it makes me happy. Well, sometimes, John, you need to compromise your own happiness in order for those around you to be better off. I, uh... Guess I never thought about it like that. Maybe you were right, Susie. So that's Susie. I wonder if we're gonna see Monica. Now we're inside the house. This is the house we explored while we're playing, of course. Uh, hey, Monica. <gasps> Monica. We came back to apologize. Yeah, we were the ones who took your paintbrush, but we came to give it back. That is creepy. So they took Monica's paintbrush, okay. I feel like there's a bit more to it than that, right? The hell? Oh my god, this is actually really spooky. Definitely not a kid's cartoon. It's like a cursed cartoon. Stay away from me! <laughs> Wait, were these the two guys that got their heads cut off? Oh. Well, thanks for giving it back to me. I've been looking everywhere for this. You, you mean you're, you're not mad at us? Well, I would have been. But looks like you've learned your lesson already. So Monica's the one so chasing us around in the game. This time. Oh, well, thank you, Monica. That's so nice of you. Just don't do it again. Yeah, it wasn't the guy from the start. It's Monica that's been chasing be us with her paintbrush. She says, don't do it again or you'll be sorry. So, why don't you come with me? To Claytown. That's definitely interesting, guys. Okay, guys, so that was basically the intro to the game um, via their YouTube channel. That obviously really answers some questions that we had. We know that Monica now was the person that obviously was wronged 
She's the person now chasing us around and trying to enact her revenge on everyone, it seems. And there's probably quite a lot more to this story. I don't want to go too in-depth because I've literally come fresh off a playthrough, so I haven't really had time to think it through and, like, look back through all the footage. But I wanted to include this at the end because it does actually give a lot more context to what we just experienced during the playthrough. But yeah, that's Claytown. So it was an interesting game for sure. It was a bit of a strange demo because like not too much happened. Like I was expecting like a chase at the end or something where the monster actually was some kind of threat towards the player. But it seemed like it just kind of hung around and creeps us out a little bit. But I did like some of the jump scares and puzzles and I definitely like the art style of the game. I'd be interested to see if they can polish it a bit because it does feel a little bit janky at the moment. Again, it's just a demo. But yeah, so far so good. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this playthrough. If you did, go support the developer too. And of course, if you like this video, give it a like, leave me a comment down below, and of course subscribe for more videos just like this one. And I'll see you all on the next one.